Hi guys, I hope you are good. My name is Mboisa Elo Vilagazi, your reliable source to the latest pop culture news and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. It's been a long time since I did like a sit down recap of a show, but this one, oh my word, I have to do this recap. So someone on TikTok um, texted me and said, hey, you know what, you seem to be trying reality shows from outside of South Africa. Um, as you know, the houses of Nairobi, Nai Reach, so would you like to try this show and watch it is called Kampala Cream? I was just like, you know what? I'm going to watch it because I've not watched anything from Uganda. Um, I'm very much exposed to the Kenyan content, but Nigerian content, but nothing from Uganda. Ah, guys, I recommend that you go watch the show called Kampala um, Cream. So basically, to summarize, I have my notes that I made. This show, guys, is basically, um, it, it highlights the lives of influencers, self-made influencers and celebrities in, um, in Kampala, in Uganda. Kampala is the big city there. Um, and wow, guys, so oh, that show is so good. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 because the show is so good. Cinematography, how it's captured, it's captured very beautifully. The storylines are depth, you know, um, and the scenes are not rushed. When people are having a conversation, you get everything. Not Someone is not going to be like, oh, but my scene was cut. They went in deep, you know, and important issues were discussed. And um, we're going to get into those issues that are, I think... Are very important that we discussed on the show but let me first introduce to you the cast members so you have um mommy deb so mommy deb is she basically owns this boutique she's married to a white man called michael um she was raised in london um she also met michael in london so they moved with michael to uganda in kampala she has uh, a child that she's raising sort of i think adopted child and then they i think there's one biological child of hers so but with michael they don't have any children and she's not like a celebrity no but she is you know those ladies that have it you know they have uh, they have presence you know um because you can't say that she's a singer she's not an actress she's just a housewife you know a rich rich housewife okay let me close this window guys uh, I'm sorry because uh, I can feel the wind and then you have it Itania Itania is a DJ I'm a piano DJ and when I heard that she's an I'm a piano DJ I was like South Africa halala halala we're doing amazing you know she's an I'm a piano DJ that's um yeah Etiana and you also get the baby grace baby grace is apparently a child star you know she's been the star since she was a baby um and then you also have zahara toto zahara toto is also an international self <laughs> self-proclaimed international dj okay and lastly we were introduced to a, a lady called lakia but we're gonna i'm gonna tell you how we got introduced to lakia so um the show is in english um and um and of, i think 98 percent english which i appreciate and then the two percent is in luganda which is um one of the official languages in uganda so i as a bantu speaker myself from south africa i love the show because i could hear these are my brothers and sisters literally guys um because we speak in the same way so i especially since i'm a zulu speaking person i could be like hmm I, that word is actually the same word that we use to describe that and I'm sure you've experienced that also when we were watching the housewives of Nairobi whereby um, you're like eh, eh, man this is literally the same thing you know the same word they use we use it but my I'm saying that I gave the show another 10 because I, I feel like subtitles there should be subtitles some episodes I think a two or one episode has subtitles or rather, let me say, they have English subtitles, but when they are speaking Luganda, there are no subtitles. That's what I noticed. So, uh, yeah, that's all, guys, for now. That is important. And then two minutes into, for me, I need like a minute for me to be drawn into a show. But literally two minutes into the show, I was like, I love the show. And they used Mami Depp as, because you need a powerful force 
as there is someone's gonna introduce the show. So I think Mami Depp was the perfect person who drew me in the. She ran the first ten minutes, you know, before we even met others. I was like, I'm here for it. They put they placed a very powerful individual to 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 introduce the show, you know. That was Mami Depp. I loved it. Um, yeah, guys, and I was also worried a bit with Michael because Michael I was like, why is Michael getting his own diaries? Um, because it's, yeah, I was just worried about that. Um, because I was asking myself, why do you have Michael there, you know, as to have daddies? It, but as the time, as the show progressed, I fell in love with Michael's energy because I was like, are you trying to, just me as a person, I was like, are they making the show credible by bringing a white person? They think maybe it's going to give the show credibility. I'm just being honest, but, um, as time went on, I enjoyed Michael. I enjoyed Michael. I enjoyed. I love how he loves Mummy Deb. Um, yeah. So as you watch the show, there are certain phrases that uh, you're gonna fall in love with. For example, bougie, right? So that's baby Grace. Um, I will explain to you. But bougie, right? So let me let me let me break down some few things. So um. Okay, so there's a, a, a so Mami Deb, I've told you about Mami Deb, right? She's a housewife, rich housewife. She owns this boutique called Bougie. So she's planning, she was planning like a runway to a collector's, um, something like that, like showcase, showcasing some clothes that she bought from um, Paris and also clothes that she bought from London. Um, I don't know. So she invited this, so she met this young lady called Baby Grace. Baby Grace was also part of the show and said, hey, can you be a host? to my um to my party or rather this you know fashion showcase um but you know she seemed like someone who did not have a budget because baby grace wants to be paid and then she did not communicate with baby grace whether you know uh, but she basically she hired baby grace but then baby grace found out during the day of the event that um mommy deb found a new mc imagine you've planned you've prepared you look nice and then on the day of the show you'll find out that actually you're not the MC. So now that's where issues begin. So um, so while we're discussing even the negotiation, uh, ba uh, Baby Grace was like, hey, Mommy Deb, you know, so what's the budget? She was like, no, I don't have a budget. She was like, oh, okay, but you should have a budget. I mean, bougie, you know, this name of the store is bougie. So um, there, hence the bougie right ended up becoming the theme of the show. Everyone is like, oh, bougie right? So it, that was quite an interesting to see. I think, um, I don't like how Mami Deb handled the whole situation. She should have told, um, uh, you know, she should have told Baby Grace instantly that, girl, you know what? I decided not to go with you. Not for, not for you to wait for someone to rehearse and then you change your mind, you know? It felt as if you wanted a certain reaction and that reaction that you wanted was to make tv i mean you gave us that though because at the end of the day we were able to react guys i'm re by the way i forgot to say this is season one that i'm reviewing i heard that there's a season two right now in south africa we have season one which is on showmax okay very important now i should have said that even in the beginning but now guys so uh but at the same time i don't understand where my mid is coming from because um, there was sort of a, a, a condescending tone a bit from Baby Grace and she was like, okay, but you, you're bougie. I mean, you're supposed to have the money. Um, so I think Mamita was like, no, I can't have this person. But I think she overreacted. They could have worked out their differences. It was not, it, it, it's not like um, Baby Grace said something that is too wild enough for her to, to be disqualified, you know, to not become the MC of the day. So those are my thoughts. Um, now... Talking about, while talking about Baby Grace, Baby Grace, I felt as if she was not herself on the show. I just felt as if, um, you know, she went in very hard, dramatically hard on the first episodes. And then as, to, as the time progressed, she realized, actually, this is not who I am. Or maybe that is who she is. Maybe she realized later that, actually, I don't want people to see this side. And then she pulled out of the show. Hence, then we were introduced to Lakia as time goes on because Baby Grace left the show. She said it's scripted and stuff. I don't know, you know, is it scripted? I mean, this is reality TV. It's probably, the, I don't think it's probably scripted, but uh, there is, you do get some direction, you know. Um, it is what it is. It is. No one said reality TV is 100%, you know, a reality. And then um, what I liked about Mami Deb is just family, giving us family 
and she was consistent this is when we talk about someone who's consistent from episode one till the very last episode she was sort of an anchor um to the show i loved that um about him and uh then there is zahara toto zahara the dj um she also gave us content but she came in powerful in the beginning but as the show progressed she slowly lost her momentum i don't know what happened but she saw she then lost her momentum as the show progressed um my question for her is that girl who are you dating because on the show we hear you you're singing you're looking for a husband can't you have someone and you've been together for 11 years i mean i was so confused all right by the way she's got her she's she has uh, five kids but for her for someone who's got five kids she's got the most banging body what i like about her is that she's multifaceted besides being a dj she's also in aviation school i'm like i love you girl for that but i did feel as if um zahara is a i don't think zahara is a bad person but i do think she carried a lot of negativity with her you know so much and it, it ended up stealing her spotlight you know because she was so angry at etania angry at baby grace baby grace like dragging people i think the negativity almost stripped her light away from her you know and then you have someone like etania etania at first i was like what's happening with this girl you know but as time progressed i loved it especially guys let me tell you episode five is the bomb that's where you're gonna get etania speak out about her experience so basically, just to summarize for you, Itania was taken to, um, she was like 17, she went to Thailand, she, she thought she was going to work in this uh, supermarket, little did she know that she's going to be working in the street, um, selling cake, honey, you know what I mean, I don't want YouTube to, um, to have issues with me, she was selling cake in the Thailand streets, and then she eventually got arrested there, she could not contact her family, they thought she's dead, it was a lot um but guys she was 17 so the show highlights and what i'm the way i'm saying it is is not as intense as, as you watch it on the show what she went through um she in fact she was not even supposed to be arrest, arrested because she was accompanying her friend who was being arrested and then the police were like okay we, we will also arrest you you know it shows that she's an amazing person and i don't like the fact that the other ladies started to use that against her and call her you know you're a prostitute and all that i mean guys you why are you um using someone's story which is so painful against them you know uh i didn't like that to villainize them i didn't like that especially lakia and zahara toto okay um now there's also lakia 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 gave us nothing guys but she came in very hard at the end with good shade but i don't think there's much depth there because i don't really know her i felt as if i still don't know her she yes the nyash is nyashering but girl the, i wanted more storyline um from her what, what's your story but at the same time i do understand coming into a show as a replacement for someone a hey, you're coming in alliances have already been formed so it's not really easy so i can just imagine for lakia it was probably not easy and i think La lakia was being punished for being friends with zahara lakia would have had a great experience if she was introduced by someone else but her issue was that she was introduced on the show by zahara and zahara already is not friends with Ta etania and you know the way just you know um i don't know my thing is i did not foresee that zahara would have issues with mommy deb in the end because i felt as if you know mommy deb was very nice towards zahara and she tried to play it fair you know but i knew that this is gonna happen don't try to come in the middle when people are fighting you're gonna experience you go, you're gonna be the bad guy you know because that's what mommy deb was trying to do balance tanya and balance itania and balance um zahara that never works that never works at all guys so yeah um now i want to get into some um crucial things okay so first there was mommy deb versus baby um baby grace um baby grace um i i i just felt as if she was just not herself on the show and she realized later this is not me 
And also, I didn't like that they brought her young sister. The, she's, she was just 16. I, are you sure you want to bring a 16-year-old to reality television? These are old women, accomplished women. I, why are you bringing a baby, you know? I just didn't get that part. Yes, the sister is outspoken, but she's still young. She's still 16. So I didn't like the fact that they brought the sister. And also, um, there was Zahara and baby Grace. Zahara, apparently Zahara has problems with everyone, though, because of the show that she's doing. Um, you know, apparently she speaks about people on that show, and people are like, girl, why do you speak about us on your show when you don't? have proof you don't have receipts of what you're talking about so it was an issue with baby grace um and she even came for baby grace's mom you know i was like mm, zahara girl and 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 she was having that conversation with mommy deb i was like mm, as mommy deb i would be i would be i would thread carefully because this person they will change one day and come for me you know and then um there was also itania and zahara that was a, the biggest fight of the whole season especially when they were now throwing food at each other it, it was so uncouth and michael was there hence i was like oh i was like why is michael even there when these women are fighting but he was minding his own business but guys it was horrible and i do understand um why itania uh, reacted that way because like uh, because of what uh, Zahara said, Zahara said, uh, Zahara stooped very low that, oh, I heard that you wanted to kill yourself. So I thought, let me help you and make your job easy. How could you say something like that when you know that mental health is such a very serious thing, you know? And guys, there was also Lakia versus Mami Deb. I think those two, are, it's just a, a, a battle of beauty as like who's more beautiful than the other one. Um, Mami Deb has the, has the, has, has the titties. Uh, Lakia has the nyash. I did, I again i think it's because um you know she was, she was introduced by zahara that's all that is all you know um and then there was also mommy deb in the end against everyone i don't really know what they were fighting about because i don't have the history or, or the context but it seemed as if the stuff that um like i said uh, about Mami Deb, but Mami Deb also said that like as the man in, in Tanzania, I think it's Harmonizer or something, uh, is not claiming her. So I think it was just a matter, it was just a huge fight and Mami Deb was fighting for herself and Zahara was just sitting there so quiet. My thing is, uh, Mami Deb then started coming even from it for Itania saying, Itania, no, you should, uh, okay, Itania kept on interjecting too much. I felt as if it, it, Itania should have let Mami Deb be and say, Mami Deb, just be, you know, fight because now mommy deb also allowed her to vent and speak as much as she can but at the same time i do understand where itania was coming from when itania was trying to stop mommy mommy deb from fighting lakia and zahara she was meaning that look girl the moment you fight with someone and you are the, you are also raising your voice at this point we cannot see who is the clown even though even if you were on the right but by virtue of you making noise you seem like someone who is on the wrong right now so basically guys that's my summary of the show called uh, Kampala uh, Cream. Go check it out on net on Showmix. It's one of the best shows in Africa. I said what I said. My name is Buisel of Lagazi, your reliable source to the latest pop culture news. And thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. Salute.